This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. A new travel advisory for those coming and going in Kentucky. The governor asking you to self-quarantine for two weeks if you've been to a state seeing a high amount of coronavirus cases. The advisory is for anyone returning to the bluegrass state from Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Arizona, Idaho, Texas, Florida, Nevada, or Mississippi. Governor Bashir also is limiting informal social gatherings from 50 back to 10 people. The Reds are in action today in their first preseason game. They'll be doing it without Derek Dietrich. The Reds announced yesterday he is no longer with the team, asked to be released, and the team complied. Dietrich returned to practice last week after recovering from COVID-19. Happening today, free COVID-19 testing is available in Cincinnati. No appointments necessary. Just go to Schroeder Creek High School along Duck Creek Road in Madisonville. This goes from 9 to 1. Test quantities may be limited. Change coming to Kings Island. You no longer need to get a timed ticket to get into the park. Kings Island also unveiled a new calendar for August. They will not be open every day of August. The fall and winter dates will be announced later. All right, weather for us for this Tuesday. It's going to be another hot day looking at highs into the upper 80s and some low 90s for everybody. It'll feel like we're into the mid 90s. Uh, it'll also be a little muggy for uh, the first half of the day. And then you can see we do have a chance for some rain, especially as we head towards the evening hours. This could linger overnight for us as well. And the extended forecast looks like uh, much of the same. Got some upper 80s as our highs heading into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and then clearing out by the time we get to the weekend.